Hello, James. Yeah. Uh, okay. So my first nomination is going to be Janice. She's very entertaining and interesting. However, I do believe that she has made various people very uncomfortable in the house. You know, I'm not going to lie, at times she's quite frightening. You know, you don't want to cross her. She's very, she's very clever. James, could you give the name of your second nomination? Yeah, my second nomination is Farah. She's been rude to me. She says she comes out with silly things that she won't explain. I don't know whether she fancies me. I don't know. She really, really is hard work and she's getting fucking bored of it, to be honest with you, like. And she makes me feel uncomfortable at times, to be fair. James is talking to Big Brother about Farah. Then I just feel so awkward trying to talk to her. Like, normally, when I talk to somebody, like a girl or a boy or whatever, I can just roll it, bash things backwards and forwards, engage. But with her, I don't know, I just, just so, like, hard. <laughs> I don't know, she just makes me feel so uncomfortable. She's just obviously, you know, had a difficult past or an unusual past that has made her into like a hermit crab, if that makes sense, like this shell, and she'll only come out of her shell when she feels like it. She probably thinks like, do you think she fancies me? In support of Gail, who has alopecia, Austin ceremoniously shaved his head. James is talking to Big Brother. You know what, well, you can never, ever, 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 ever judge a book by its cover. Ever. You know what, Austin is ten times the man I'll ever be. You know, he's just shaved his hair off to show his respect, you know, to Gail. It's amazing. I wish I had the balls to do that. James had to give up all of his hair products in today's sacrifice task. Then, housemates played another task that got them very dirty. James is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. Fucking hellfire. I'm gonna have to wash my hair because it stinks so bad and it's making me feel really poorly. You're free to wash your hair. You're just not allowed to use shampoo or conditioner. That's not really fair, is it, Big Brother? I've put water on it and water on it and water on it and water on it, but it's not getting rid of the smell. And it's making me ill, it smells that bad. Come in here and smell my hair. Like, you don't understand how bad my hair smells. You can take anything else you want off of me, I'm not bothered. You know what I mean? I don't care about my hair, I'm not bothered about it. It's the fact that it smells that bad is the reason why I want to wash it. And it's the smell that's making me feel like I do. James has been called to the diary room. Morning, big brother. Oh. How are you today? Oh, it's bright. So bright. James, put your duvet on the floor. Oh my God, you said that with so much authority. As the UK have won this week's shopping task... Yeah? ..you and your team have a luxury shopping budget to enjoy. That's right. But to clarify, this is solely for the UK team. Yep. It cannot be shared with your US housemates. Yep. Big Brother will be keeping a very close eye on this. OK. And if any of the US team are deemed to be consuming any of the luxury budget, there will be severe consequences for the whole house. Sounds bad news, doesn't it? As the US team lost the task, they are on basic rations. This means they will have no bread and will have to make their own. This means they will have no protein. They'll be surviving on chickpeas and basic fruit and veg. Oh my god. And this means no cigarettes from the shopping list. <sighs> well, gonna have to put some um, restraints on people, aren't I? I feel guilty though. Because like, we're gonna be sat there having all this nice food, nice bread and toast and chicken and salmon, and they're gonna be eating chickpeas and carrots. Unbeknownst to Farah and Jenna, Big Brother has revealed the twist to the rest of the housemates. They are now where they should try to get nominated, so that they win individual immunity from this week's eviction. 
James is talking to Big Brother about the big twist. I didn't really enjoy having to be an arse in that discussion today. And at the end of the day, you know, it, it is a game. And if I want to survive, then I've got to play it, haven't I? I expect there's going to be some serious heated discussions, arguments. You know, you're bringing two people back into the house that are volatile people, especially Farish is very volatile and opinionated. Jenna is, as she says, sassy. She's up for an argument, she'll stand her ground in her corner. I bet they're thinking, you know, you just wait until we come back. And I bet they've got loads to say. There's going to be, as Scoob would say, some legendary rows, I'm sure, coming. Pretty nervous to see what's going to go down in the next few days, to be honest with you. It's going to be pretty serious. On day 15, Chloe Jasmine was the only housemate to Miss Austin's celebration in honor of his late brother's birthday. This caused an argument last night. James is talking to Big Brother about Austin's behaviour. I think Austin had a point. They wanted to get off his chest about her not being at the ceremony, but, you know, then we had to get personal again. I don't know what's up with everyone. Why do they all need to go personal? And, you know, I love Austin to bits. You know, and his energy and everything's great, but, you know, you don't... The way he talks to people sometimes in his abrupt manner is not, it's not correct and it's not fair on people. You know, poor Stevie, bless him, just sits there and... He doesn't know what to do with himself, you know. He, he wants to stand up for Chloe, but you know, I think he's a bit frightened to do so. And you know, I feel for him more than more than I do Chloe, really, because I see him bottling it all up, and it's not nice. 